If you've ever wondered how brands reach the right audience at the right time, or how ad space is bought in real time across the internet, this is going to be the platform you need to know. Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for mastering software and tech the smart way. In today's video, we are diving into the Trade Desk one of the world's best programmatic advertising platform out there so we will walk you through what the trade desk is how it works and how marketers use it to launch manage and optimize high performance ad campaigns across multiple channels whether you're a digital marketer media buyer or just curious about ad tech this video is going to be your perfect starting point so grab your coffee, hit that like button, and let's get started with the trade desk. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of the trade desk. On the top corner, you have an option to log in using your credentials. Now, if you do, you will be forwarded here. If by any chance you don't have an account with the trade desk, this is going to be the perfect opportunity for you to create one. How? You have to go back to the contact us option because that is going to be one of the easiest way for you to create an account. By going to this submit form, you are requesting the trade desk to give you a free trial access. If your request has been approved, one of the sales experts from the trade desk will contact you and give you access. But in case you are not approved, and you still wanted to know more about the Trade Desk platform, don't worry, we got you. What we can do is go to the main homepage and we're gonna discuss the sections on the top corner for us to gain more insights. The company, the platform, and of course, their resources and insights. We're gonna go to the platform first because for one, right, it offers omni-channel advertising. Now, this is gonna be the ability of the trade desk to run advertising campaigns across multiple digital channels from one platform including connected tv or ctv mobile desktop audio or digital out of home or dwoh so you deliver a unified brand experience no matter where the user is consuming media of course there is going to be the identity solutions it helps advertisers recognize users across devices and platforms without relying on third-party cookies. For example, the Trade Desk's Unified ID 2.0 or UID 2 is a major identity solution that uses encrypted email addresses to track users with privacy and transparency. And there's going to be the audience targeting. This allows advertisers to define and reach specific groups of people based on demographics, interest, behavior, location, or even purchase intent. So the goal here is to serve the right ad to the right person at the right time. There is going to be the measurement and optimization. Now this is going to be a handy tool that measures ad performance, ROI or return on investment, attribution or what drove the conversion including real-time optimization so campaigns automatically adjust for better performance and then there's going to be the artificial intelligence or ai now the trade desk uses ai like their tool called koa to analyze vast amounts of data predict which ad placements will perform best and of course optimize bidding strategies automatically there is going to be the real data, including first-party data from retail partners like Walmart, Walgreens, or Albertsons, helping advertisers understand in-store and online shopper behavior. You have like a link ad exposure to actual purchases. Then there is going to be the APIs and custom solutions. The Trade Desk provides APIs for advanced users who want to integrate their own systems, build custom dashboards, automate campaign management, which is ideal for tech-savvy brands or agencies. Now, there is the uh, pragmatic buying solutions, automating the process 
of buying digital ads using real-time bidding like RTB because Trade Desk Tools lets advertisers bid on impressions in real time, help them get better placement for less money. And there is going to be the partner directory. These are going to be the list of integrated partners that support advertisers with data enrichment, attribution, brand safety, creative tools, and venery access like publishers, ad exchanges, and a lot more. So you can find and connect with these partners directly through the trade desk. Last on the uh, capabilities is going to be the UID2. So this is going to be the open path that is going to be an open source and any framework opened by the trade desk as a privacy conscious alternative to cookies. All right. It's built around hashed and encrypted email address. It gives a user more control how their data is used. And it is designed to work across the open internet, not just walled gardens like Facebook or Google. Of course, let's not forget the open path because it allows advertisers to buy directly from premium publishers through the trade desk without middlemen like supply side platforms or ad exchanges. So you have more transparency, lower costs, and better performance. All right. Now, we're going to go very briefly to the channels. You have the audio. These are going to be um, programmatic ads del delivered through digital audio platforms. It reaches users during screenless moments like driving, working out, offering high engagement and brand recall for passive listeners. They also have the CTV or OTT, the connected TV or over the top. These are ads delivered via internet connected TVs or streaming devices, combining the impact of traditional TV with digital precision like audience targeting and measurement and a lot more. And then there is going to be the digital out of home so these are digitally power powerful advertising in public places you can extend reach to real world audiences often in high traffic areas and can be bought programmatically for flexible targeting the display is static or animated banner ads shown on website or apps one of the oldest digital ad formats useful for driving awareness retargeting and performance campaigns and then there's going to be the mobile which is as specifically tailored for mobile devices, which is critical for reaching users on the go, formats like banner, video, and rewarded ads. And then there's going to be the native. These are ads that match the look and feel of content around them. It's less intuitive, more engaging, blends seamlessly with user experience, leading to higher interaction rate. Less is going to be the video. So these are going to be ads in video format outside of CTV or OWT. It gives a high storytelling power, great for awareness and engagement, supports skippable and non-skippable formats. And with that being said, and that's a wrap on our dive into the trade desk. So if you're ready to get strategic with your ad spend and looking for control, scale and transparency, the trade desk is definitely worth exploring. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Subscribe for more deep dives and how-tos. And do not forget to check out other videos on tech, platforms, and smart tools that help you work smarter, not harder. So what do you think? Have you used the Trade Desk or are you considering it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video.